hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to create a wizard in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorials so in this video we what we will be doing is that we will show you how to create a wizard in odoo so upon hearing the name wizard you might think what is it so i'll show you a sample first so if i go to the products so i'll go to the inventory and if i go to the products and if i open any of the products so here you can see you have a button called print labels so if i click on print labels you can see you are getting a pop-up to enter some information so normally in odoo such pop-ups is called as wizard so let's see how we can create such a wizard inside our module in odoo so if i go to the hospital module here we have appointments so what i will do is that i will be adding a new menu called cancel appointment and on selecting the cancel appointment we will show a pop-up so let's see how we can do that so in order to work with a wizard we need a transient model so we already have defined a transient model inside our om hospital module so if i go to the custom add-ons and if i take om hospital so here already we have created a folder called wizard so if you don't have a folder just create a folder named wizard first then inside that you can define a transient model so transient model will not store data in the database so you have to define a transient model and you have to add your fields so here i have defined a model named cancel appointment wizard with description and i have added a field named appointment id which is of type minute one so this is what you have to do inside the python site define a model transient transient model Make sure that its security is set. So here you can see I have given its security for the newly created model. And its files are imported in the init file. So here you can see from this init I have imported this. And from the outer init I have imported wizard. Now what we have to do in the XML side we have to add the menu and its view. So inside the wizard itself we will be adding its view. So let me take a sample. So I'll take a sample from patient tag view.xml. So I'll right click and I'll copy and I'll paste it inside the wizards folder paste. And I'll name it as cancel appointment view. Cancel appointment view.xml. So I'll save it. Then what we have to do, we have to import this inside the manifest file. So I'll copy this name and we have to import the XML file inside the manifest. So whenever you import a wizard in the manifest file its order should be after security and before the views so before the views you start you have to import the wizards file so our path will be wizard slash wizard slash cancel appointment view dot xml so you have to give in this position if you give at the last also it will work but the coding standard is as follows before the views you have to import the wizards file so here i can see we have imported cancel appointment view.xml so that's done now what we have to do we have to adjust this file so first of all i have to add an action so i'll come to the menu later or i'll start from the menu so first of all we need a menu so i'll add the menu inside the menu.xml file so what i'll do i'll take a copy first and here i will add a menu menu cancel appointment menu cancel appointment and name it as cancel appointment or i'll do cancellation anything you can give cancellation and its parent so i have to come this menu under the appointments menu so here you can see the appointments menu is here so i'll copy its id and i will set it as parent and i will put it as sequence as 50 because i need to come it at the last so for the appointment menu if i check here i have given the sequence as 10 and here either you can give 20 so it will be coming as second so i'll give it as 20. so we have defined a menu called cancellation as a sub menu for this main menu we have just added a menu now what we have to do 
here we have to specify the action that has to be called on clicking this menu so right now we haven't clicked any action that is we haven't defined any action so i'll keep the action as empty and we will fill it later now what i will do i'll go to the cancel appointment view so here what we have to do we have to define the action so this is the sample we have so let me delete some unnecessary codes from here and let me adjust and action cancel appointment so i'll give the name as action cancel appointment appointment and here you can see the action name i'll change to cancel appointment and cancel appointment so i have changed that name the type should be ir.actions act window and the model should be newly created model that is cancel appointment wizard so i'll copy this name and i will put it over here that is press model equal to cancel appointment wizard then view mode i'll give it as form itself because i'll show you i'll keep view mode as form then let me remove this tree view we, don't, we need only a form view so you will understand that cancel appointment i'll copy the string view cancel appointment form so we are designing the form view and the model i'll copy the model name again from here cancel appointment wizard and i'll put it here model cancel appointment wizard and form i don't need any sheet tag so i'll remove sheet tag duplicate group remains there and we have only a single field that is inside this model we have only appointment id field so i'll add the field here so what i have done is i have just defined an action of type ir.actions act window name is given cancel appointment type ir.actions window rest model specified view mode as form then here i have defined a form view for the same model cancel appointment wizard with single field appointment id now what i can do i can copy this action and link it with that menu so i'll give it here so on clicking this cancellation menu this action will get triggered and we will get this form so let's see what happens if i upgrade the module now so i'll restart the service and i'll go to the ui and from the apps menu i'll upgrade om hospital module so you can see we have an error so if i scroll down file not found that cancel appointment yeah so this is because we haven't put a comma so after importing we have missed a comma over here that's why we received that error so just already start again go to the ui click on upgrade so i'll upgrade the module again so you can see the module has been upgraded without any issues now if i come here you can see you have got a new menu called cancellation and if you click on that you are getting like this in the screen because it's not coming as a pop-up so in order to come it as a pop-up what you have to do is that you have to give target new Control d and set target as new target equal to new here so if you need to get it as a pop-up you have to set field name target equal to new so let's upgrade the module once again and see so i'll go to the apps menu from here i'll click on upgrade again so the module is getting upgraded without any issues now if i come and click on cancellation you can see we are getting the pop-up and here you can see we can select the appointments so here you can see save and discard normally what we will be doing is that we will be adding a footer so if i go to the Uru code find in path and if i search for footer you can see footer simply copy that and you can add it inside the form you can add form this will be you can see once you don't have a footer inside the wizard you will see this save and discard button and now what i have done i have simply added a footer to the form view and what i'll do let me readjust and let me change something and special button i'll keep that a hotkey z string 
I'll cancel discard just discard and here what we have to do we have to cancel the appointment cancel selected appointment and let, I'll, let me write and I'll explain you cancel cancel appointment so I'll give the string as cancel appointment type object data hotkey is to for the shortcut so what we have to do we have to define this action so you have to remember type object will call this function inside this model so I'll do one thing let me copy this function name let me close all the files close others and let me open the wizard and this model I have to define a function and nothing I have to do here I'll just add a return I'm not going to perform any operation just define the function and returning it so we have added a footer so let me really start and let's see what we are getting here so if I go to the UI I'll keep it as here and if I duplicate and from here I'll upgrade OM hospital module so the module is getting upgraded and if I take cancellation you can see instead of save and discard we are getting cancel appointment and discard so button primary so let me remove this and let me give class primary for this one or control z control x i'll copy it here and i'll class i'll copy this class to the second button because we have to highlight the cancel appointment button and this card should be not highlighted so for the cancel appointment button i have given class button primary and for the discard button i have given class button secondary so let's restart and let's upgrade the module once again so i'll go to the ui and let me upgrade the module once again so the module is getting upgraded and if i come back to the cancellation you can see this is coming in blue color and this is in coming in discard is coming in normal color so this is how we can add a wizard in odoo so i hope you understood what we have done so far is we have defined a transient model added its field then we have defined an action and from the action we are calling this on selecting this model we have specified we need form view so system will take form view from this model so we have only one form so this form view will be shown and we have defined its menu here and call the action so this is how you can create a transient model or how we can create a wizard in Oro. so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in the social media and if you like the video please do click the like button and support us by liking the video sharing the video and do comment so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you